guys, my name is Annie Lisa Jada and today I'm going to be telling you a few fun facts that I learned about dung beetles. Remember guys, if you like our biodiversity stories, do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. When thinking about animals you like to see in game reserves and animals that you probably hear about in most biodiversity channels, I am pretty sure your list includes your elephants, your lions, your tigers, your jaguars, your rhinos and even giraffes. And don't get me wrong, those are magnificent animals and they actually play a very important role in the ecosystem that we live in. But I bet you didn't think about the little creatures that actually clean up after these big animals animals. They're called dung beetles because their daily activity includes dung. Did you, did you guys know that dung beetles are actually divided into three large categories? We have your rollers, we have your tunnelers, and lastly we have your fillers. Rollers, while they go out, search for dung, once they locate the dung, they actually roll it up into a ball shape like this one, and then they roll it back home. Your tunnelers, they also go out, search for dung. Once they locate the dung, instead of rolling it back home, they dig a hole and then they store the dung into the hole. Our dwellers, the different bunch, they actually create their own dung at home. Have you guys ever thought about how strong a dung beetle is? <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but let me elaborate. Dung beetles can actually roll down up to a thousand times their body weight, which is just the same as an average person pulling a double-decker bus full with people. Have you guys ever thought about what these little creatures eat? Well, like us humans, they actually have preference. Myself, I prefer KFC, Nando's, McDonald's, pizza, McDonald's. I love McDonald's. These strange creatures actually prefer eating poop and they are very particular with the poop that they want to eat. Dung beetles actually prefer dung from herbivores and omnivores, which is what is called a dung diet. For creatures with no nose, they have excellent sense of smell and they use a sense of smell to actually locate dung. Once they have, they roll it up into a ball shaped like this one and then they roll it back home before other dung beetles actually steal the dung that they have located. On hot days they actually have a cooling off strategy so what they do is once they have rolled off rolled up the dung in a shape like this they actually climb on top of the dung to actually prevent their feet from touching the hot ground. Dung beetles are actually very much beneficial to the environment and to livestock producers. They actually improve uh, soil in grazing, they um, prevent insects and diseases, and they actually prevent runoff. So I hope you guys, after listening to this story, you'll actually acknowledge the fact and appreciate the fact that creatures, big or small, play a very big role in our environment. Thank you. Take care. Want to see more of that? Like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Thank you.